Hey, it's Earth Castle. Ever wanted to make your map feel more real, more suspenseful? Fog can do all this and more. Fog is great for realism, making large areas look a lot better, and just general mapping. To make fog, first place down an entity using the entity tool, and in this bar, change it to env underscore fog underscore controller. This entity will produce and control the fog in your map. This option here turns on or off your fog. I'm not really sure why you'd want to have this one off. This one here makes the fog blend in with your map, instead of being a solid wall. These ones here are the colour of your fog, with the primary colour being more apparent and the secondary one not so much. These two options determine where your fog starts to appear and the radius of fog around you. The lower you set your number, the closer the fog is. For medium and small scale maps, I recommend around 2000 to 4000, and for really big maps with open space, anything from 4000 to 8000 should work. Here's an example map with the number set to 2000, 1500, and 1000. This option changes how dense the fog is. When on one, you cannot see through the fog whatsoever, but on a lower number, the fog becomes more translucent and you can start to see through it. In the options for a skybox texture, you may have stumbled across sky underscore fog. This skybox will mimic the colour of your fog and make your fog blend in with the sky. This can be really good if your skybox and fog have clashing colours, since it removes the line of where your fog ends and the skybox begins. Here is what the example map looks like with the default skybox and then sky underscore fog. If you have a 3D skybox and want fog in it, there are similar options in the sky underscore camera that you can use to give your 3D skybox fog. And that's it, thanks for watching, the 1k sub special is for sure coming soon, it's just really big. If you liked this video make sure to check out my other hammer related content, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!